Hello, everyone. My name is Pavel Karolev, Vice President for Development and Projects of the Global Energy Association. And today with me, Dr. Zhong Lin Wang, Director of the Center for Nanostructure Characterization, Georgia Institute of Technology. Hello, sir. Hello. How are you? Fine. Thank you. Dr. Wong was nominated for invention of trivial electric nanogenerators for self-powered sensors, Internet of, uh, of Things, robotics, artificial intelligence, and large-scale blue energy harvesting. Trivial electric nanogenerators were named among the 10 trending technologies. What is the story behind the creation of this device? Okay, uh, back to 20 years ago, when I was doing nanomaterial research, I was started to think, how can we have the energy which dispersed in our living environment? Because we use a lot of fossil energy which disperse in our environment as heat, as vibration, anything associated with us. For example, walking, vibration, train movement, wind, all this. But those energy are low quality especially like a wind, you have a breeze wind, not the, the high speed wind. Human walking, voice are all low energy, mm -hmm. low quality energy. How can we effectively utilize those energy? So I call those energy called high entropy energy. But you know that as the today, we use a lot of uh, fossil energy. How can we use the energy which already disturbed environment to serve small electronic, for example, like the internet of things, power of sensors, uh, uh, wearable electronics. So I started working on 20 years ago, uh, first use piezoelectric effect, uh, later on use trouble electric effect for effect convert those low quality, low frequency energy into electric power. Then say how good you can do. So the way to convert mechanical energy, we have a electromagnet generate. So what's the advantage of Trouble electric nano generator, number one, it is a technology, especially work well at low frequency. How low? You can use the hands to swing like that. Okay, such a low amplitude, low frequency, we can effectively utilize the energy because the output of the trouble electric nano generator, the, 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 the voltage is independent frequency. So even have a slow motion, or we can harvest that. Then you see what we can use for. We can use for harvest energy for human walking, vibration, voice, as well as any breeze wind, as well as the car movement. And further, you can expand this one to large scale. For example, blue energy. You can utilize this, make a spherical troubling nano generator, make a, a network. So you can float it on the surface of the ocean. You can harvest the ocean energy around the clock. Around the clock, day and night. And also, regardless how deep the water, how complicated the environment under the sea, you can do that. So we call blue energy. It's so how good you can do that. We can achieve in the ocean, we can achieve 28% uh, of energy harvesting efficiency. Let me utilize an area like a state of Georgia, like in the state I live in. One, one meter of depth water, the power generated can be one tenth of the world power consumption using the networking from this the device. So you can contribute to the large energy need by the world. Okay, so it's not small. Star is small, but turn out to be big. Uh, turn out big. More important is for internet and things. So many things around us, human machine interfacing, security, we can use this as a sensor, so-called self-power sensor, because anything you trick it is a give electric signal. So this is a sensor, self-power sensors have broad application for medical science to healthcare, to, from security to environmental protection. Many things you can think of, because the effect we utilize is so popular, so broad. Any material have a electric effect. Any material can be utilized for this purpose. So it's cheap, low cost, and widely distributed. Great, great. Sounds fantastic. 
And uh, what opportunities does this invention offer us? I mean, will a person in the future become like a station that uh, generates electricity? Okay, let me give you some examples. You can self charge your cell phone when you're walking. So use the, the way you're walking, you can charge your cell phone. You can also charge the wearable electronics. If you have medical help, problem you have, you can charge the wearable electronics and can make a pacemaker self-charging. You can implant it inside the body. A pacemaker is self-charging. And also you can utilize this one for security. If you put on your door, somebody knock your door, in immediately electronic signal sent out. And if you put in on a, on a carpet, if you carpet a rock, anybody walk on the surface of that, you know it because the trouble electric effect occurs for, for fibers, fabric. So you can utilize that for these purposes, for security and other things. And also you can utilize for healthcare. For example, uh, robotics, I, I lift my arm. You wanna know the angle, the control for that. We can make the very precise angle control as well as lightweight, low power consumption for robotics. Human machine interface. Give you an example, your keyboard. When you do your keyboard, you type in, right? You type in, we can yep, yep. put this underneath the keyboard that can record the way you type in, the way you strike the key, the time interval between the two keys and, and identify who is typing. So you can see it's rich every corner of life we also use that for 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 uh, for for water quality quality control because we can make a cell powered uh, this uh, chemical sensors put it in the environment. If you have a large area, for example, like a Russian, you have a huge land. How can you monitor wildlife? Uh, wildlife, wildfire, water quality, anything around that to use this cell powered distributed sensors. And they can save a lot of work by human, by human. So we all use this for air filter. We can, because in the other country we have a strong, uh, this is a pollution problem. So the air filter can be utilized as well. So from medical science to cell power shoes, power cell phone, as well as uh, environmental protection. So broad, you can, you can reach every corner of our life. So this has been why that uh, have been widely distributed. So around the world have 57 countries and regions, 900 units, over 6,000 people work on this area, follow us. So it's a big, big community. Wow, wow. I can say just wow. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, by the way, Dr. Wang, what is the difference between uh, piezoelectric and triboelectric. It's just about frequency. <clears throat> Very good question. Uh, piezoelectric is a effect we first utilize for energy conversion. But piezoelectric only works for specific materials like a PZT, uh, a zinc oxide. But a triboelectric for any materials, you name it, you make the, the paper, you know, you know the paper, you, you, you do that between the hands, the jacket, anything, you name it. So it's so broad, so widely available for choice materials. Both the principle are similar, but the output, the triple electric is a lot larger than trouble electric, uh, than, than the piezo electric. So, and then my next question, you use textile fibers to collect mechanical energy. It's very creative, but how did you come up with this? How does the process of finding suitable materials go in general? <laughs> uh, when we first found this one was from experimental accident. We first was not looking for this, was looking piezoelectric materials. But we found some of the material that does not have good piezoelectric effect, but have a very good performance. We wonder why. So after six months of investigation, we found, oh, this is trouble electric effect. This is back to 10 years ago, exactly 10 years ago. So up to now, we have a lot of large community follow us and we hope this bring to the 
the the the broad impact of human civilization serve the serve our broad range not only for distributed energy small power but also when you integrate into networking it can serve the world so with that regard i think uh, we have uh, 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 original uh, research this is uh, original research the idea is new and also the theory behind the new plus the, the application is new as well because this can be a good uh, complement to the any other energy technology put all them together we can hopefully contribute to world need in in, in a lot of uh, fields Usually, one discovery leads to another. What can this technology pave the way for in the more distant future? Okay, it paves many ways. Number one, Internet of Things. For we can for Internet of Things for power for sensors. Number two, for human machine uh, uh, interaction, for robotics, for robotics. Number three, for environmental protection, distributed sensors, distributed cell, cell power sensors for infrastructure. If you have a bridge, you have a building, how do you know that they are operated safely? You see cell power sensors can be one. And of train, you have train, the track of the train, high speed way, you can use for transportation. You can also use for this for, for the ocean. You know, you have the uh, internet on the ocean, Underwater, you also can be a microphone for record voice. Voice. You can also be utilized for pace wave for harvest wind energy and water wave energy. This is what we call blue energy. This is a big concept towards the future large scale energy need. So we can from small to big, from sensors to power, and even to voltage, voltage source. So it's open a door for energy research, for sensors uh, technology. So I, I, I have a big hope for this one to contribute to the world uh, very soon. And uh, you can see that uh, you probably never heard these things before, but now it's possible with this new creative research, which can serve humankind's over broad range. My, my goal is to establish the, the theory, foundation, mechanism, basic technology. So all these things can be shared by all humankind. Everybody can hopefully in future, everybody can utilize this for some purposes. That's my goal. Great, really great. So it was my last question. Thank you very much, Dr. Wang. Uh, from my side, I wish you good luck and uh, hope to see you soon.